was a list of differential diagnoses. Our list initially were things such as adhesive capsulitis, so frozen shoulder where we were getting a constriction of the capsule around the actual shoulder joint. We could have had an intra-articular loose body. This patient used to play professional football, and so it's possible that he has cartilage damage in that area, some osteophyte buildup, things like that, where it, something might have dislodged and now he had a loose body inside the joint. And then we also had nerve entrapments. We have seen this in the past where patients have had really, really bad impingement of the axillary nerve that result in a severe loss of range of motion. So we decided to do some point of care ultrasound on him today to kind of see, hey, what do we got going on? Let's check out supraspinatus, let's check out biceps, let's check out all these different areas that could be contributing to his pain. And what we found is more than likely a tear in his biceps tendon, technically the biceps muscle at the myotendinous junction or the, or the musculotendinous junction, which was evidenced by some discontinuity in the fibers, a collection of fluid, and then what looks like basically a stump, which is the some of the retracted fibers of the biceps muscle and the tendon as they come through they make this little stump. 